What's up, money geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to introduce you guys to a new EV manufacturer or startup company. And the reason I'm, I want to bring this up is because this company has been getting a ton of attention, um, and people are not talking about them. And by the time this company goes public, we're gonna be like, whoa, what happened here? Where did this company come from? So, and I've been reading about them. I see a ton of money coming in from big name companies. They're pouring in the money. And I think there's something about this company that is attracting all these big name companies. So I wanna start keeping an eye on it so that uh, when things go uh, up, we are ready to go and ride along with them. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you're looking to start um, some sort of day trading, I have my strategy that I've shared on the channel, so I created a playlist for that. I'm gonna hook it up here so you can definitely go check it out. So. The company that we're talking about here is an EV or zero emission uh, startup company. And it's a UK based company. This company is trying to get like city buses as well as uh, vans um, all uh, zero emission. So you think about the UK in London, they have a ton of buses, right? Even in some major cities here in the United States. So the, this company is working to try to get uh, zero emission buses um, on the street. And a lot of companies have been like trying uh, or investing in these companies, big name companies, which we're going to take a look at. And the name of this company is Arriver. So it's a, again, it's a, a zero emission company that's a startup company that's based, based out of the UK. The way P this company is getting investors from big name companies, I see one or two things happening. The company might potentially go public uh, through an IPO or they could go th uh, public through a reverse merger with a SPAC company. With uh, what we've seen this year and I call it the year of the SPAC. So again, if you don't know what that, that means is those are SPACs or blank check companies that actually uh, you know, go public by merging with a company that actually has a product or a service and they just come in, they have the infrastructure, they have the financial structure, the maybe the business structure to take you public without you having to go through a regular IPO. So that's what SPAC company do. And this year we've seen a lot of them from the likes of Nikola, you guys don't know how that went, into, you know, we've seen Graft, we've seen a lot of these companies, again, uh, going through, and one that's on the verge of going public too is Open Doors um, going public with social capital. So we're gonna see a lot of it this year yet. But uh, when I see this company and the, uh, the ton of uh, interest that they're getting from investors, it makes me wonder what they are offering. I've dug through the website, taken a look, see it, it mean, again, it's a zero emission, but for some reason, there's so much interest in it. And, and, and usually the trick is follow the money, right? In, in this space, if you see the money going that way, follow it, it will lead you to where um, everybody's going. So right now, my eyes is on the money. So. Let's take a look at the company. Just go through the website. Just gonna take it again. It's a startup company, so I don't anticipate that we're gonna be looking at anything like financials and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna show you the list of all the investors that are actually, uh, you know, jumping into this company, and then we'll make some conclusions there. So let's take a look at the company. So as you can see, guys, again, this is the website of the company. The company's name is Arriver. You can see here. So this is the the, the main the product line. You can see. Uh, basically, they have um, buses that they hope to, you know, replace all the buses that you have in the city, and and just and these are uh, zero emission buses. And I don't see any as far as the design. There's nothing special about the design from a bus standpoint, but the fact that they're going zero emission, I think that's key. And so they also have the designs for electric, or I would say zero emission vans. Again, the design itself. It's not something that we haven't seen before, but again, you know, it's it's a copycat market. People, when monkey see, monkey do. So that's pretty much what it is. But uh, the thing that I, I wanted want to talk about here is because the, the 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 investors that are going after this company is just, I mean, I'm I'm intrigued. So look at a little bit that they talk about the technology here, and um, 
I'm not going to go into the details again. It's zero emission. That's all we need to know. Um, as far as this year, again, we've seen a ton of EV, EV manufacturers or EV companies go public. So I wouldn't be surprised if this one decides to go public anytime soon. So I didn't dig in depth to really see what the CEO did before uh, starting this company. So that's something that I would have to put in the in the footnotes after I, I get to that point. So here's why I think this company has something that we don't know yet. The, again, the, just the, the people or the companies that are investing in this in this company tells me a lot. So we'll start here, BlackRock um, just invested 118 million in this company. I mean, that is a tremendous amount of money, right? And then you have, uh, Hyundai, which we know Hyundai, this is a Korea company. They've invested 117.4 million. This is this is crazy. So right now alone, this company is totally valued at about 3.53 billion, just based on the the sheer amount of investors that have actually invested in this company, which is crazy. And then look at all some of the key investors, and not just are they investing. But here, the EV firm is building a micro factory at Rock Hill, South Carolina. So they are coming to the United States, um, which is crazy. So look here, United Parcel. So UP, uh, UPS uh, also has ordered about 10,000 electric vans from them, which is estimated values about 500 million. That is insane. So I, I got my eyes on this. This thing is gonna go public here really, really quick. I would be I would be surprised if the year ends without them announcing their uh, intentions of going public. If not, early next year, the list they would probably again they'll go through a reverse merger. That's my speculation with uh, one of the SPACs out there, and we're gonna see. I'm gonna keep my eyes on this one real, real quick. As soon as I hear uh, that they have any intentions of merging and going public with SPAC, I'm buying that SPAC right from the get-go because uh, the companies have invested here and the fact that ups is you know thinking about like placing orders like this that is crazy i i, I like what i'm seeing so again blackrock right now is, um you know it's one of their biggest investors at 118 million and we have a uh, Hyundai, you know, uh, UPS, and all these other guys that are p p pumping money into this company. So I'm gonna keep my eyes here just watching. So it, here's one thing. So so BlackRock invested 118 million um, uh, in the United Kingdom based electric vehicle startup Arriver, which will enable the automaker to open a manufacturing facility in the United States. See, so they're coming here, which is good for me. So if they come here and they list on the NASDAQ, I am all in. So yeah, definitely guys, go check them out and see, because this company just came to my radar. It's not a company that I was really, that I really had, it just popped up. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. So definitely don't hesitate to go out there, read about them and see if that's something that uh, you care about. I, I certainly think it's a, it's a it's a great opportunity. So this car certainly looks like um, a great opportunity for, for us to invest and, and take a look. Again, this company is not trading publicly. They haven't made any announcement that they are gonna go public anytime soon, but this is just my speculation based on what I've been seeing with all other EV manufacturers. It looks like this is their year, so I would be very surprised if the year were to come to an end without them announcing some sort of a reverse merger with a spa company to go public or listing um, publicly, just listing an IPO um, on the NASDAQ. So that's my personal take. Let me know, what do you think about this company? Do you think, oh, it's just another crowded space, they're gonna come in there, make some noise, make some money, and become the next Nikola, or you think, Maybe it's an opportunity. Let me know in the comment section. And again, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo is currently doing a promotion where if you open your account, deposit $100, you get two free stocks, not one, two, um, just for testing the platform. So definitely give them a shot. And as always, stay motivated.